Let's focus on health now. On the heels of the COVID-19 pandemic, the primary health care facilities in Lagos State may soon get an uplift if fearless from the state government is anything to go by. According to the State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akinya Bayomi, the decision is to ensure that residents have access to quality health care. Correspondent from Kadisoji reports. To drive the process through, the state government said it had identified and carried an assessment of some 329 primary health care centers, most of which are in a comma two state, for upgrade and improvement of service delivery. The upgrade, according to the commissioner, Professor Akinya Bayomi, the state would focus on infrastructure, data management, power supply, water supply, drug supply, sewage management, and adequate staffing. We have several systems delivery, service delivery platforms in the primary health care. We have um, porter cabins that have been installed. We've done a complete uh, audit of our 329 primary health care centers. We have started to renovate um, several, 23 out of our 57 flagships, uh, and several of them will soon be in a position to be commissioned. We have several um, vaccination and nutritional programs that are being executed through our primary health care platform. The commissioner said the government, equipped with knowledge of identified gaps, had already started renovating some primary health care centers across the state to bridge the gaps. We have adopted the strategy to digitalize health care delivery to ensure that we're able to deliver health at a smarter, faster, and cheaper rate. This was launched about three months ago, and we're in the process of developing platforms that will be the bedrock of the smart health information platform. Other areas to receive attention include immunization, bridging of communication, gap between the State Ministry of Health, local government and primary health care board, facility management, monitoring, financing mechanism and insurance scheme. Funke Adesoji, reporting for Silverbed News 24.